I'm now joined by Russ Veal. Uh, me and Russ are going to go up and down and have a look at the best painted nominations as well. So start us off for us. We've got Army Number 1, which is Dark Elves, Tom Cowling. Why do you think this one was picked and what things are we noticing? Um, well, it's got a very striking um, colour scheme. Um, it's it's very, for the nice paintwork, it's got a good centrepiece. The dragon's really nice. If you look at the um, the blending work, especially if you look on like the side, on like the muscles here, the face, and on the back of the wings, it's really well defined. And it, um, you know, that that's a great centrepiece for the army, and, and that will get the army noticed. Um, there's, it's a lot of stock models. There's a couple conversions, kit bashes, but yeah, it's really good. I mean, the only thing about the army I'm not a fan of is the movement trays. Um, they're nicely textured, but they're just a bit too big. Um, especially in the game, they're an inch big, so basically they get in the way a lot. Uh, I just played Tom actually, so um, yeah. But other than that, and also like the the shades on the skirmish tray could have a be nice to have a proper tray for them. But other than that, yeah, it's really nice. It's just nice highlighting and. Um, yeah, some nice sort of techniques on that. I like it. So let's move down to um, this is well, number six. We're, we're in the wrong order. We've got Matt Lee and we've got Dark Elves again. Yeah, again, uh, this this army. I really like the concept of this. It's like a desert. Reminds me a lot of Dune. You've got like the worms, um, sort of tremors mixed with Dune, mixed with Warhammer, a bit of Cthulhu. Uh, it's really nice. I I like the colour scheme. I don't think it's it's finished yet. He's got a lot of things just washed. He hasn't highlighted up. Um, but it's work in progress. But I think when it's done, it's going to look absolutely stunning. So it looks good now. But here? What is it? This, I guess that's his Hydra. And that's a Maelstrom um, Bane Beast model. Which is, uh, I don't Even know what it's called. Bits. Yeah, that's, that, I think that's a stock model. Um, it might, the back might be different, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's quite a weird, a weird thing, but it's quite cool. Um, yeah, I like it. I like the trays. I like the way his, um, he's used like little unit fillers like here. I like this guy as well, it's very cool, it brings it into theme, but obviously this unit here is 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 really nice, so you can see the work that's gone into here, the conversions, the spearmen, they've got the cold one rider bodies, the white's really crisp, really nice, yeah, it's definitely, um, it's definitely an army that I think when he gets round to putting all the touches to, it's going to look fantastic, well it looks good now, but you know, it's uh, going to look better. Okay, so moving down to Empire, and we've got Scott Lyons here. Yes, yeah, so it's Scott's army, and I think I don't think he's rebased it for this tournament. But um, maybe he's, he, maybe he did do some basing work because he kept rebasing it. But it's a really nice army. It's neat. Uh, the basing's interesting. He's got some nice, uh, nice character figures in here. He's like, look at this guy, and he's got a bit of. Uh, he's got on the scroll. He's got the detail on there. That's really good. Sort of his wizards. Yeah, it's really nice, and I like the Kislevite um, horses. So that it just um, works together, and his conversion for his war altar is is a nice centerpiece again. Um, it's a light colour scheme, you know, which which helps bring the models out with dark basins. It's always a good contrast. Yeah, it's I quite nice. like the the bases that the the demigriffs are on. What? Where are they from? Do you think? Uh, that's probably made himself because they're just little squares um, of probably plaster card or something with uh, some texture on. Which are the um, so he's probably done that himself, scratch built it. So uh, awesome. Okay, so John Warmington with lizard men now. Yeah, now this this army is is kind of um, he had this army done before some of these units, his samurai oriental. And he had the bases all on oriental garden, and he's he's done he's changed it onto these really nice sort of resin bases, and now I think it works a lot better. And obviously with the new book he's done a lot of new big monsters and I think especially the blending on the um, on the Bastilodons the blues really nice the Trogodons really good it's just it's just a really nice army I mean I like the blue contrast on the base um, the, the the monster I'm not sure if he's used an airbrush but it looks like he has on the big monsters um, and then painted the detail in and I I'm a big fan one of the things I really like is if you look at the Bastilodon You've got blue and yellow, which is a very good contrast, and the crystal is painted really, really well because it shows you exactly how it should be painted to look like it's uh, it's reflecting refracting light inside it. So it's uh, it's really nicely done. Um, Get so, you with big words, refracting. Yeah, well, that's it. Cool. So moving down to Stephen Follows with these vampire counts. Dun, dun. No. Yeah, this this army's cool. I I really like some of the. I mean, I think he's got some of the Titan Forge stuff in here. Uh, so that's the Titan Forge um, zombie dragon, I think, and I really like that model. 
Um, it's it's very simply simply painted. I mean, they're the um, the zoblins, which are the zombie goblins, which I absolutely love, and they're they're Titan Forge. I think most of it's Titan Forge actually. Um, I really like the vampire um, orc. Um, this guy this this guy here is like a a craven little little goofy looking orc. I really like that. Um, yeah, it's nicely done. It's simply effective, and the um, the fit the ethereals really pop the army. Again, it's another army with two massive centerpieces which just draw your eye and, and get it noticed. Um, so yeah, and it's it's painted neatly across the whole army and it's consistent, it's good. Cool. So we're moving down to Lizzie Tombs. We have a female nomination. Yes, we do. Um, and again, I really like the color scheme on here. I mean, turquoise and purple and some pinks. It's really, really nice. And um, I'm a big fan of her skull cannons, actually. It's the underside, the turquoise is really nice. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's, uh, I saw it sort of work in progress, and now she's done more work to it. I think it, it's it's simple and effective, but as an overall effect, it's got a really nice colour balance to it that that basically makes it pop out. It's really bright and colourful, and yeah, it's really good. So she's really happy with it. I love this one mainly because it's purple, but it's great. Yeah, exactly. Cool. So this is. The Mike Newman, who we've seen a couple of times before, but this is a different army. Yeah, this army, I'm I'm a big fan of this. I I, I like elves, um, and I've always wanted to do like a dark rider um, sort of shade army. And I really like the hoods and all the corsairs, all the conversion work done. It's all done with the plastic kits. Um, it's painted nicely. It's very crisp highlights. Um, I think the the hydra lets it down slightly at the moment. I don't know. Maybe the highlights need to be a bit more pronounced on it, um, but the rest of it's really good. I really like the Eagle Riders. I think they're the, you look at the wings, the actual um, the, the, it's black, but you can see the definition, and it doesn't look grey. It still looks black, but you've got the highlights in there. It's quite subtle, and this this is the army I voted for. I think the subtle work on all the all the blending on the capes, the highlights is really crisp, and it's consistent across the whole army, which to me is one of the hardest. Um, things to achieve and if you paint an army quickly and together because I, I think I don't think it's that quick but if you just work on it you will get that consistent feel to it is that important in an army consistency I think so if you if, for army painting because you the problem with having an army that's got some inconsistencies is you start looking at it you might notice one model or one unit that's not quite up to scratch and you think oh that kind of lets it down or you know so it's a bit like Matt Lee's army if that one unit's really nice the rest kind of not let it down but not as good so so now we've got Beastmen, which seem to be in a forest. This is in uh, Scovels. What yeah, I've not actually had a look at this before. Um, I really like it, actually, looking at it now. I mean, you look at the amount of models he's had to paint, and that's a lot of models, a lot of infantry. Um, I like the conversion work on the, uh, the Furies. They're, they're, well, Harpies, I should say, sorry. Um, and then he's got interesting bases. He's used different flocks. He's used... Uh, you know, gravestones, it's used um, clump foliage. It's really good, it's all nice and crisp. Um, I think the highlighting is good, but it could be a little bit crisper, like sort of look at the metallics on the axes and things. They just could do with maybe edging on a lighter color just to really pop them. Maybe a silver highlight of the all bronze weapons. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I really like it. I mean, the banners haven't got designs on as well. So whether or not he's just not got around to doing it yet, um, is probably why it's not it's not quite there, but I think with a little bit more work, this, this will be one to really look out for. I mean, it's really nice anyway, but with the extra work, I think it will be picking up trophies. But it, it's I, really good. I think you're right. I think it's excellent. It, it could do with a little bit of freehand work, which I think Mark is, is really, really good at as well. So if Mark and him work together, I think this could definitely... Just have to name them. drop, don't you, Gareth? I Just do. have to name drop. I do. I love it. But thank you very, very much, Russ. Um, it's been great to look through them. Who's going to win? We shall find out soon.